Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to uh, talk about the Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, coil plug testing, uh, a coil plug ignition coil. Now we're also going to do a um, nice detailed but brief uh, current analysis of the of the test that we're going to do we're using uh, for this particular test which is the easiest way to do it uh, our own uh, mercedes-benz coil and plug uh, mercedes-benz uh, uh, ignition coil um, tester pulser and this is our the unit that we manufacture that we make and you can see it on our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com now, so you can see on screen, this is the type of uh, Mercedes coil that uh, this particular tester works on. And this is the one that we're going to feature uh, on this video to do the, our testing. Uh, the unit comes with a dedicated uh, OEM uh, connector. Uh, so it plugs in there. So it's a plug and play unit. Uh, pretty much you plug it in, push that button, as you're going to see on the video. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's a very uh, straightforward. And you can also uh, use the uh, current probe. If you have a clamp-on unit, and everybody should have uh, either that or, or the, the unit that we have, the fuse peaker on our website, uh, and so you can use the units uh, and to be able to test the uh, to do the uh, the test that we're going to do. Uh, on screen, you, as you can see, is the connector pinout uh, for these Mercedes Benz, and these things are hard to find, believe it or not. Um, so we have access to the uh, service manuals for all these cars, and now. Uh, we're posting it here so that you can see with the uh, permission of our Mercedes-Benz. Uh, anyhow, uh, the, it, it, this is what the pinout looks like. Uh, it's a, you have the 12, pin number one, 12 volt, uh, two and three are ground, uh, the, uh, and therefore it's a trigger that the unit that we have uh, creates a trigger, special trigger, and you're gonna see because Mercedes-Benz uses a different trigger than uh, a lot of the other cars. Uh, so it's a very short uh, 1.3 to uh, 0.8 millisecond uh, trigger. Uh, and we're going to see that uh, briefly uh, towards the end of the video. On screen now, it's um, connecting. How do we connect the tester? And it's a very simple unit. It has one button only, and it's got an LED on and off LED uh, to show that you're connected to the battery. Uh, make sure that when you connect uh, the high voltage uh, connector to the bottom to the to the tip of the coil before you do you connect the, the connector because if, if you by any chance uh, accidentally press the button uh, you're going to zap yourself you could you could be you may damage the unit okay so make sure you connect the tip uh, of the coil to the unit first and then you connect the uh, the coil anyhow so uh, as you can see on screen it's a very uh, it, it'll give you now this is important uh, 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 when testing these coils, uh, that this unit is going to stress it to the max. Uh, so it'll stress the coil with 1.3 uh, milliseconds and about 10 amps. Uh, this is a function of the coil itself. That's just the way the coil is built. Okay, uh, you're just triggering the uh, the, tr the internal transistor inside the coil. And you're stressing, but but the thing of it is that you're stressing it to about 25 to 3,000 RPM. Uh, so don't press that button for a long period of time, or you're gonna you could damage the coil, not the unit, but the coil because it overheats. Uh, because remember, you're working uh, outside the uh, the car, you're stressing the coil to the max. Uh, look at the gap; it's a very big gap, which is not the same gap as the spark plug. Uh, this is a bigger gap than, than almost any spark plug you, you could see out there uh, in the field. So anyhow, just don't don't press on the button for too long. Uh, uh, a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds is okay for you to test it. You could spray the coil with uh, water uh, and vinegar, whatever you have to do to 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 you know to make the the coil. Uh, uh, because sometimes it's not the coil, it's the boot, you know, you get uh, carbon trackings and this and that, and a lot, some of these coils are expensive. Uh, not if you buy the cheapy ones, but if you buy the cheapy one, you test it with this unit, they'll probably fail, because this unit is gonna, really going to stress the coil, and your coil is going to come back if you, if you uh, use the cheapy units. Now on screen now, we are showing you how to uh, basically uh, uh, clamp on a current uh, amp probe, 
to the uh, uh, this is the power wire which is pin number one you could just you could also use the the the, the ground wires you know so that's fine it, so long as you're clamped to one of the main power cables uh, number one is, is pretty much it's fine uh, for doing any test uh, you're just uh, uh, you're going to get a waveform of the uh, uh, ig uh, ignition current, okay? So you're going to get a, a waveform of the, of the amount of amperage going through the, this particular coil during the test. And as you can see on screen, that's a waveform capture of this, the, the particular test generated by this unit. Uh, this is a typical um, operation, uh, as you would see in, when it's installed in the car. It is just stressing the coil because of the gap and the spark gapper and because of the fact that you're stressing it to about 2500 to 3000 rpm okay uh, so on screen you can see the the uh, the pulse width for the coil is about 1.3 milliseconds uh, and the amplitude is about 10 amps and this is according to the uh, uh, to the setting on our um, on our amp probe of the clamp on that we are using and the actual and the setting that we have uh, so it's, it's about it's about 10 amps um, 9.5 to 10 amps that's a lot of amperage uh, for uh, almost any coil would draw that but this is the problem is that it's not a problem it's just that it's stressing the coil so just be mindful of that uh, the how, how you do the test is by um, you could uh, separate the rods and do the, uh, the the spark gap make it wider uh, we don't recommend it because it's pretty much set and, and this is fine uh, it's already stressing the coil to you know 2500 to 3000 rpm if you want to spray uh, some uh, um, water and vinegar around the coil um, you you know you could do that too and that's so there's, there's a bunch of different ways that you could do that and you don't have to clamp the coil to strap the coil uh, to the unit uh, if you're going to spray stuff in there, don't spray, you know, don't spray it on the unit because you, you don't want water to go in, in there. Anyhow, so uh, this is what the actual unit does. The, um, uh, it stresses the coil to the max, uh, and this is exactly what you would see in the, in the car, um, operational. Normally, uh, a lot of these cars are, are now doing multi-spark, um, multi which, which is you're going to get per... Uh, per compression uh, or combustion cycle, you're gonna you're gonna get three to five separate pulses, a little bit shorter than this. But this is fine to stress the coil. Uh, but at least you have an idea uh, of what it is that that you're seeing uh, with this particular unit and with this particular test. Uh, it's, it's it's just about stress. You know, you're stressing. A lot of these coils are cheaper if you go online, um, and you're gonna get you're really going to get garbage uh, the, because they don't last. They just don't last. You, you put it in a car and a month after the car comes back. And this is the reason why we're making these units because there's a, there's a lot of garbage out there. Uh, you're not going to get garbage if you buy it from, from the OEM. It's more expensive, of course. And some of the aftermarket ones are good too. Uh, they're not as cheap as the, the cheapy ones from China. And it may even be from China and may, uh, may be a little bit more expensive and good quality ones. Uh, but the, 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 you know, the, the point of the matter is that the, this unit was stressed. Uh, you can actually also run other uh, tests uh, with the unit. If you see that you stop in a coil and it's not giving you 10 amps and it's giving you like 3 amps, 4 amps, you're, gonna see, you're still going to see a spark. It's, gonna be, it's not going to be as strong as what you see on the video. Uh, but it's going to use it'll be a spike but then the unit is full of uh, resistance uh, uh, spots inside the coil when during manufacturing because it's a cheap unit and then you're using cheap um, uh, um, circuitry inside and cheap uh, uh, step up transformers and so on and so forth and you're not going to see 10 amps uh, just uh, be mindful of all that you know if you own a shop uh, or if you're a do-it-yourselfer you know this is it you know Anyhow, we'd like to thank you for uh, tuning in to our channel uh, on YouTube, ADP Training. Uh, you're welcome to visit our website as well, uh, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, and, uh, and view what we have. Uh, all of you uh, tend to participate and leave comments, so we're, uh, you're welcome to do that, and we encourage you to do that and ask us questions. Even if you have a problem with your car, we'll try to answer, and we'll try to get to everybody. may not be right away. 
uh, but I'm definitely, I always get to everybody, okay? So anyhow, uh, we appreciate you uh, to, uh, tuning into our channel, and uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.